So by now I know that everyone has heard of the following terms, thrifting, hand-me-downs, second-hand, but no one truly understands why there is such a craze around thrifting in the last 10 years or why so many people are requesting people to rather thrift than buy first-hand clothing items. And so today's video is going to be split into two different parts. The first part is going to be some of the tips or reasons why it has become such a craze or why people are pushing for more people to thrift. And the second thing is going to be a thrift haul slash try-on. And I'm just going to show you guys some of the thrifted items that I've gotten in the last two or so months as well as some of the favorite pieces that I've gotten from the last two or three years that I actually started thrifting. About 60% of my closet right now is thrifted items or hand-me-downs because I was the youngest kid of a brown family for a very very long time. That was of course until my sister and my younger cousins came along. But for the most part, I was always the youngest and even when my sister and my cousin were born, for the 5 or 10 years after that, I was the one that still fitted in the clothes of the rest of my family. So my mom's younger sisters and my older cousins, when something didn't fit them or they just didn't like something, it was always passed down to me and I thought that was the norm. And then once I got older, you know, I was like, you know, why can't I just buy things firsthand? But as I got more in tune with what is happening to the environment and becoming more ethically conscious with the practices that do go into making clothing, I started to appreciate it more and obviously just carried on with how I always got clothes. And that is why still now my closet is still filled with so many different items that I've gotten from both my aunts, my cousins, my friends, and even from just thrift stores in general. All of the items that I've gotten here are actually from mostly Instagram stores or Instagram pages that I found just by luck. So their Instagram handles will be linked or rather put down below. A majority, no, all of them are actually proudly South African or South African run businesses. So definitely check them out and give them as much support as you can. <laughs> So the first thing is that it's obviously so sustainable and ethical. So I couldn't really find any stats surrounding South Africa, but obviously there's so much of stats surrounding American waste and things like that. And so what I found is that around 14 million tons of clothes are thrown into a landfill every single year. And this has doubled only in the last 20 years, obviously because our population is growing at such an exponential rate, which means more people are wasting clothes and creating more waste in general and this is according to the environmental protection agency so you know that they kind of know what's going on and i didn't just get it from a Hong kong website and in terms of the global average it's around 92 million tons that are wasted every year just from clothing and it's expected by 2030 to reach an all-time high of 137 million tons per year so if people tend to use secondhand clothing over and over and over again obviously within reason that it's not torn or overly damaged it means that less waste is entering the landfill every single year and this means whatever toxins are released from breaking down the matter will be further pushed down the line as well as not put so much of pressure on mother earth to break down these things all at once and then in terms of the ethical side of it i'm sure many of you know how bad fast fashion is just you know in terms of human ethics as well as just an environmental ethics first of all i'm not going to mention any names because i don't want to get into trouble but there's been tons and tons of like very popular stores that I've gone through so many problems with sweatshops and things like that. And so much so that even one shop had the sweatshop workers or the people that were being abused as labor actually sewing help me messages in like the labels or whatever. And that's the only reason how this company in specific was unmasked or rather put into the spotlight of how bad their malpractices actually are in terms of how they pay their workers, what their workers' hours are, what benefits that their labor even got, if there were any. And it's not the only one. I'm sure majority will know which shop I'm talking about, but I'm not going to say which one because I don't want to get sued. Um, but yeah, th that was like one of the largest cases that have happened. I think the chain of stores might actually be closing. They've been saying that for the last two years, so I'm not sure when exactly that will happen. But yeah, that store has come under a lot of scrutiny just because of the malpractices that they have been performing for the last 30, 40, maybe even 50 years. And then in terms of environmental ethics, fast fashion produces mass products at once, obviously to fulfill the needs of the growing population. But in doing so and in producing so many new items every single time, it means that more chemicals are going to be released as byproducts or more raw materials are going to be needed to use to make the products. 
and most of the time sometimes fast fashion doesn't always meet the demand or it overestimates the demand and again that will be wasted and will actually be just thrown away or discarded if it's not bringing in profit so that just releases so many different things into the environment in terms of waste byproducts harmful chemicals and more the second thing is that it is highly affordable i'm sure if you've watched any other thrifting videos people have spoken about how they got maybe two three items for like under 100 or 200 grand which is i'm sure like less than even 10 dollars most of the stuff that i actually got here i think i got for under a thousand rand and i got about like five six maybe even seven items and if you look at fast fashion brands you tend to only get like two or three items for that same price so that's a very big thing so this of course gives you more savings and it gives another reason why thrifting is good just besides the whole sustainability part of it the third thing is that for a very long time i did not know what my fashion was or what felt comfortable and things like that just because i also was and i still am a very tomboyish sort of person i like to wear some sort of girly things if you want to put boxes on clothing but for a very long time I didn't really know what my fashion was or what I really liked and within the last two years I realized that I really love wearing statement pieces and that my style is also most of the time comfy and trying to just look as comfy as I can without just looking that I put no effort in and so with the fashion statement pieces that I was talking about I mean like I love the 70s up till now kind of fashion but mostly 70s 80s and 90s that is like my my top kind of fashion or love for clothing that's where it comes from and obviously like sometimes here and there you'll find some stores that have sort of clothing that comes from there like I actually got a jeans from Edgar's that looks like what Jennifer Aniston wore in Friends and I really like that like bulky pants look but that only lasts for a certain amount of time before the next craze comes in Whereas if you go for thrifting or things like that, the chances of you finding something from like previous decades is very, very high. And chances are people are never going to find the same thing as you. So your thing that you're wearing is like a one of a kind statement piece. So having those pieces and things like that that are from the decade that's one of a kind and also affordable is definitely another reason why thrifting is such a craze and why you should definitely try it out. And then lastly is obviously that a lot of charities benefit from it, especially if you go to a charity thrift store tons of charities are supported or get a portion of whatever you pay for the item so that also obviously is a huge pro of thrifting so in summary the four reasons why thrifting or hand-me-downs or second-hand items are such a good thing is because obviously it's sustainable and ethical it's highly affordable you get to find fashion pieces that are from the decade that you like and that are you know one of a kind and fourth is that a lot of charity organizations tend to be the receiver of a portion of your items so those are the four reasons why you should definitely try out thrifting and why thrifting should definitely be a new way that you get your fashion items just a disclaimer that you know thrifting and things don't only mean getting clothing it can be anything from books to furniture and all three or four of the tips that i mentioned kind of fit in with that as well you might find a vintage piece that you like as a side table that's obviously sustainably sourced that is affordable and obviously matches whatever style you're going for so definitely also when you're looking at furniture and books and things like that try and find them secondhand rather than buying from larger chain stores that might break your pocket <laughs> The first item that I got is actually this white coat over here. It was a little bit larger than I would have liked, but obviously it just goes with the outfit that I have on in this segment that I have, you know, if you wear like a tank top and jeans and you have like a really long sort of coat, but it was in really, really good condition when I got it and it has these lovely buttons and pockets and it is super, super warm. Like it might look thin, but throw this over even a tank top today. It was like 10 degrees in Joburg and I put it on and my cousin was shocked that I was only wearing a tank top underneath so it was very very warm. The next item that I got is actually this lovely waistcoat. I got this jacket and the previous jacket actually last year and at the beginning of this year respectively and it is such a nice velvety sort of texture and it has a lot of embroidery on it this can make you look like your outfit went from like you put no effort into that you put the most effort in i actually wore this to one of the rocky horror shows that i went to with two of my best friends 
and they loved my jacket so much and when i told them that i got it thrifted they were like so shocked and they absolutely loved it so this is one of the statement pieces that i was trying to tell you about i tend to get a lot of tops when i go thrifting just because they tend to be like very easy things that tend to fit me in any case the first top that i got is actually this beautiful i don't even know if you guys can see it it's this beautiful cotton i think or sheer material sort of top that has like embroidery all over it and it has like these beautiful sleeves and it's so flowy it's perfect like for any weather and i'm very excited to wear this when spring and summer roll around but the material is wonderful it's so flowy and i'll show you like the sleeves the sleeves are like super different really something that i've never seen before they're like mid I think length and they flare out at the bottom so that was like the one item that i got that i was really really excited for and then i really like throwing shirts on top of whatever i wear like if i'm wearing this tank top i really like to put on a shirt just to kind of lift it up and one of the shirts that i got is actually this one it looks so 70s it has that 70s sort of pattern on it and it's really nice and very soft like i do it's like I don't know what it feels like it is just it's like a very very soft material and I think that's because it's obviously been washed by its previous user a few times but it's such a beautiful color you know there's so many ways of styling it you know you can tie it up in the front you can tuck it in you can put it over a tank top the possibilities are in so many different amounts <laughs> And then another one which is sort of similar to the one that I just showed you but it's short sleeved is this beautiful pastel purple shirt and it has these, wait let me try and find it, and it has these gold buttons all over it. It reminds me of something that Eleven would wear from Stranger Things or even Rachel from Friends would wear. It's just very beautiful. Also I think this is fully cotton and it's also got such a beautiful flowy like feeling to it and the same styles that i mentioned previously can be used for styling this you know tucking it in tying it up wearing it over a tank top and then the final item that i wanted to show you guys if i can get this to actually work <laughs> it's this really pretty like cross front cropped top in this really unusual color combination black yellow and navy and the sleeves these are the sleeves guys like can we just take a moment to love these like flared out sort of hands this one was so 70s i was so stoked when it fitted me because this is one of the items that i was looking forward to the most so i really hope that you guys liked this video and that you take some of these tips into consideration when you're trying to thrift or when you're deciding whether to add thrifting into your shopping regime i think it would benefit you the environment and the people around you let me know which of the items that i showed you were your favorite and i hope that you guys have a wonderful week filled with lots of love happiness light positivity and great thrifting finds love you guys bye